All right, it's that time of the month again. It's time for a little bit of a catch up on Realm Rampage. I haven't uploaded anything in a while, but I'm gonna start doing it again. I had a bit of a break from YouTube, mainly because I was demotivated, but I also had important exams and stuff going on in real life. But I'm gonna try and get way more consistent now and get some new content out too. After I get this video done, I'm gonna do one on a game called Block Tales, so look out for that. It's a really good game. But that's besides the point. Today I'm gonna go over Realm Rampage and try and get the word of Realm Rampage out a little bit more since it's really close to releasing. I'm going to split all of these sneaks up into different characters to organize it for you. So first up, I'll go over Katakuri. Alright, so to start off, we've got a look at Conqueror's Haki. Honestly, I don't know why, but it kind of looks worse than I remember in this video. I don't actually like how it looks. I feel like it just looks weird. I don't know if my eyes are just playing up, but I don't entirely like it. Another thing I don't like is the backgrounds for the domain clashes. They look pretty ugly and can probably be better. They look really out of place. I feel like the borders for the domain GUI pop-up as well are really ugly. Not on the part where you're actually domain clashing, but the part where you press your domain key. I feel like when you press that, it should have the same outline as what it does when the clashing happens. The black rough lines. The second sneak of Katakuri is to do with the M1s. You can see this dummy is M1ing, but it's not actually meant to be fist M1s. He's meant to have a trident in hand. This confirms that Katakuri will have some base M1s that consist of using a trident. So it would be like using a weapon like Sung Jun Mu. For the final sneak, we got a nice look at the ultimate move for Katakuri, which is Buzzcut. It looks visually amazing, and I cannot get over it. If I see anyone compare this to the JGS Black Flash VFX looks like they did before, I would genuinely lose my mind. The next character I'm going to go over is Goku. The moves we've been shown in sneaks is the Kamehameha R variant, meaning if you use Kamehameha and press R, you will teleport behind your opponent. It acts like Gojo's Red Reversal in JGS, where if you press Red Reversal it just throws it normally, but if you press Red Reversal and R, it will teleport you behind the person. It's just the same for this. We also have a confirmation of his base moveset which was subtly shown in a sneak peek, you can just about see the move bar. The moves consist of the following which are Kamehameha, Meteor Combination, Meteor Blow, and then the final base move being Dragon Throw. The moveset, as expected, is the exact same as Key Battlegrounds, which you would have just saw from a clip I put up. But overall, Goku looks really solid. Alright, this character is probably one of the more anticipated ones. We've got the King of Curses himself, Sukuna. So far, his kit looks insanely clean. The sound design, the animations, the VFX, overall it's really good. Alright, so for the first sneak, we've got one of his moves. It's some sort of dash forward which then transitions into a grab. If you hit the grab, you go forward again, spin around, and chuck him away. That could throw him through walls or anything like that. The second move is a counter, which when you are hit, you do a little backflip, look all flashy, and send a dismantle. The VFX for both of these moves are insanely good, the sound effects, I just can't get over it. Moving on to Sukuna's Awakening, the first skill is the domain. The skill isn't very visible, as the person who clipped it cropped out most of the video, which was probably on purpose to hide the domain from people. From the small amount of it we can see, it's clean though, the VFX, everything. But for the final move, we now go on to Fire Arrow. In my opinion, it's got good VFX, good animation, good sounds, but it's very underwhelming. Aspector has said himself they can't go overboard on stuff due to the destruction physics, but I'd personally prefer if the beam, like you know when you hit it, the beam goes in the air. I just, per I just prefer if that lasts longer. I feel like it goes away way too quickly. That's like the only problem I have with the actual move. But overall, Sukune is probably the most visually pleasing character, and I'm really looking forward to playing him. The final playable character that there are recent sneaks of, and the character I'm looking forward to the most is Dio from Jujutsu Kaisen. From Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. The sneaks here are mainly only of the time stop and road roller, but I'm not complaining because they do look beautiful. I love how the time stop in the game has all the wind effects like it does in the actual anime. It makes it feel so much more or less empty compared to time stops in games like YBA. The road roller move is also nice. It's very quick and snappy, but it's still cool. I would have preferred if it was a cutscene move like in AUT or the one I shown in my previous video, but I'm not complaining because it does look really nice. I'm personally most excited for the world and it will probably be the one I use most on release, but that might change. Now moving on to a character that is not playable on public servers, we have the man, the myth, the legend, leader of the seven, Homelander. That's right, for once we don't have Gojo as a private server plus character, but instead Homelander. For now, the only confirmed moves on him are his laser eyes and the ability to fly around. People are suggesting left and right that he should be able to grab people and fly around with them though. I personally stand by that. I also think you should be able to fly through buildings. That means basically your fly does damage to destruction. I feel like that would just be amazing. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I won't be making any more videos on this game until I'm actually able to play it. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a good rest of your day.